Hey -o, and welcome to Ninja Bell Reviews and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bandai G-Frame 10 armor frame of the 28A, 28F of the, and this is a mouthful here, the GAT-X105 plus AQME-X01 Ale Strike Gundam armor set. All of that. <laughs> so uh, here it is and this is a nice kit. Um, so, real quick, we'll take a look at that box. And here we are with that box. And as you can say, here, see here, it is the Mobile Suit Gundam G-Frame 10. So, the 10th Gundam frame has a static frame and an articulated frame that you can switch the armor and the pieces with. Shows that. Shows the accessories. Comes with quite a few uh, unlike some of the others in this set, so that's pretty nice. And there it shows once again all the stuff it, it comes with. You can take pieces off. So I love, I love these kits. I love them. There is the side of the box showing some more kits. I have that one. I don't have that one sadly. And I don't know if I have that one. I don't think so. Anyway, here's the other side. Here's the bottom, and why, and there is the top, and why it's tore up so badly. Oh, there's the back, by the way. There you go, and what you can see, you can take all the pieces off. And there shows all of what it comes with right there. So that's the shield holder, shield, the air, ale strike package, or the ale package, beam rifle, two vibro knives, you got stand this is uh, the frame which is also part of the stand you got the chest the head backpack armor bits also comes with beating say i'll show all that off anyway um oops there we go and the box opens up to reveal the instructions for assembly i like that idea i knocked over i like this idea i like this idea a lot and here it is in all its glory. And we'll adjust the camera a bit here. So we're getting, getting a better look. And yeah, I dig this guy. I dig this kit quite a lot. It is a very nice kit. And he looks great too. So um, here it is. And we'll zoom in on that head. And get a good look there. One moment. And we can see nice gold in those eyes yellow on those antenna red on that crest blue inside that camera that's what that head module is, is it's a camera lens so are the eyes so you know full range of view sensors and all that are in there you can see although they're not picked out very well you can see his vulcans inside the head there very nice looking all, all together and then back, and very cool. You got the blues, the blacks, the reds. This is one of my favorite looking mobile suits. See, and this this stri Strike Gundam uh, is well, very striking, <laughs> very cool. Mostly white, the blacks, red there on the bottom. Lots of molded details in there. Pretty cool. There he is from the side. The back. And you're saying to yourself, he's got a big hole in the back. Well, there's a reason for that. And that is the ale strike package there. So, got some thrusters going on right there. It should be picked out with some paint. I haven't done much to this at all yet. Ports there. Very cool. Got some thrusters inside there. Also should be picked out. There's the bottom of the feet with some thr more thrusters for use in space combat. And yeah, he's pretty cool. Quick comparison. Set him off over there. Shift up this camera a bit. Here he is with uh, Megatron from Earth Spark. Quick comparison right there. That, that, should, that should be fine right there. Uh, one of the empty frames. Only not his frame. I got his frame as a stand right now. We'll show that off in a moment. There you go. And now that we've accomplished that, let's talk about accessories. So, 
the frame, leftover frame, so you don't have to box it up or anything, you can then turn into a stand. And it's fully adjustable, you know, up here. It's fully adjustable. You can turn this around if you want a different angle, on, slightly different angle on it. And you, you can post these any way you want in there. As you can see, here's one I have in this style. And here's one I have it set up in a different style for a much higher. So this will sit lower. That whoops. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> and then I knock him over. There we go. And whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Let's just take him off. <laughs> but this one I, I have set higher. So it, it, it will, as you can see, it'll set a bit higher. So. It also depends on which angle you put this on, so, yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool, all in all, all right. Let's move on here. This is the AL Strike Package, and also comes with two beam sabers that are, you know, articulated, articulable. There you go. These are also articulable. They do move up and down. So they're pretty cool. And these verniers, they will move down. It will move out they are on a ball joint so you can position those however you like so pretty cool the suit was originally uh, piloted i think by kira yamato and then by stupid name i don't know why they came up moola flaga <laughs> what a name moola flaga anyway this is the ale strike package and to insert it all you do is you see that square peg there into that square port and it just slides right in there secure and it is very secure once it is in there it's not going anywhere and you can then display these however you want to have them looking on the unit so pretty cool big powerful thrusters here and here so yep now this was not red i painted this the trim around here red and like i said i just started to paint him up uh, um it's always best to paint on on sprue um, which I did here. He doesn't actually need much in the way of paint, although he does need panel lining. Um, unfortunately, I'm out of panel liner right now, so, you know, I don't have that. So, let's talk about, real quick, articulation. Uh, no, I can't do that yet because we're still looking at accessories. Oh, wow. Okay, he comes with a shield. Pretty cool, and it does have the uh, a beam cannon in it. Pretty cool. And you can either put this over his arm on... You can either have it on the side or under his arm. That's why there's different pegs right there, different ways of doing things. So, uh, um, yeah, you, you, you can definitely do that. Well, like I said, switch it out and have it this way. So you can have it on the side of his arm. It's totally up to you how you want to do that. Pretty cool display option. It does come with a beam rifle. Here it is, just done in black plastic. That's okay, it was pretty much that way in the show too. Except that this could uh, move up when you, so he could hold it better. And of course it does fit into his hand. This one fits very tightly, very securely in that hand and it's not going anywhere once it's in there. So very secure once it's in there. Very cool, very cool. We'll get to articulation in a minute. Also comes with two vibro knives and they're just done in, once again, in black plastic. So pretty cool. We'll zoom in. There you go. Get a good look at those. Nice molded details in there. And again, there are two of them. So pretty cool. Now let's talk about that articulation. <laughs> All right. So head will whoops pop right off if you're not careful. <laughs> there we go. It will look up quite a bit. There you go. Like that you get a nice down range and you've got a double ball joint you hit from the head and into the body it's a double ball joint so that's pretty nice so you also get some nice sideways going on there swivel all that stuff so move these up out of the way the arms will go all the way around which is really nice these will go up and down arms will go up that far it's pretty cool do have a butterfly joint left in and out so that's pretty cool. Double jointed elbow. Wrist swivel. It's on a ball joint, so you got to swivel. You got up, 
some down in and out on that unfortunately no finger fingers on there let's get that out of the way same on the other side um handling it with this on it is a pain in the butt but you know you get used to it you do have a sw waist swivel you do have a teapot as well and an ab crunch so although limited feet will go out to there get those hip skirts out of the way they will go forward that far this doesn't move at all so it's static so you don't get much back that's unfortunate you do have a double jointed knees so you get plenty of range there do have a swivel bicep swivel or thigh swivel bicep swivel up here i forgot to show that off there you go bicep thigh swivel going on right there and for the feet you get a great range down look at that get some up and you got a rocker left and right deep rockers going on there so plenty of articulation for this scale and it is a 1 144 scale by the way so you know uh, um, like a, a Legends class toy or a core class toy is actually smaller than this. Um, do I have a core class up here for display? No, not really. I guess not. I um, guess I put them, put a lot of my toys away so I don't have any core class to show off here. Uh, here it is with a Bumblebee Studio Series uh, wheel jack. So that's how it is they're they're evenly scaled so yeah so now you know you know in comparison to a transformer what that scale is so there you go so there you go and i do like this kit i i love the look of the, of the strike gundam one of my favorite looking gundams uh, um besides maybe the axios uh, uh, so uh, um it's it's i love the i love the look of this kit so this has been my look at it <clears throat> once again <clears throat> The GAT-X105 plus AQM forward slash EX01 Ale Strike Gundam Armor Set. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Make sure you check out my playlist. Please click the like button. Hit the bell icon to stay up to date on all of my uploads. If you have the means to do so and would like to do so, please join my Patreon. There is a link in the description below and above everything else. Be good to each other. Be good to each other.